this song. Okay, so he referenced Edith Piaf's song, and now we're moving into a uh, memory from a play. Midnight, not a song from the pavement. Has the moon lost her memory? Uh, I love his vibrato. Coming and going that way, but, it, but not in a dated way. It's just so fragile. She's smelling alone in the land with the leaves collect at my feet and the wind begins to moan. telling you he is doing a spin on these songs that I personally prefer to the original he tends to cover I'm realizing he covers a lot of songs that were originally sung by women because he almost needs to in order to let his range stretch and run the old days, I was beautiful then. Yes, and you all know how much I love him. We're gonna be besties in the Westies one day. My guess is that he doesn't speak a ton of English. I've heard him miss a couple consonants, which tells me that he probably doesn't completely know always what each syllable or word or phrase means, which let's be clear. He has sung in several different languages in the videos I've seen of him, and it's hard. It's really hard. And what he's actually displaying, this is a really interesting thing. You can sing in a language and not know what you're saying. He might, by the way, he might. Uh, but you can by studying and learning the vowel shapes. So you, you just learn to move your tongue and your lips and the shape and the cavity of your mouth exactly around the shapes you're hearing. You have to listen very, very carefully. And he may have had a assistance or a tutor, but the interesting thing is you don't have to know what it means. You only have to have a wonderful ear and be able to move your mouth around those shapes and mimic them perfectly, which he pretty much is. I'm studying very curiously because if we're going to be besties, I'm just curious if he speaks English. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I just heard him miss the M on time. Maybe I'll go back a little bit and see if I can show you. Okay, so you're listening for the word time. That's how you say it, time. So listen, see if it gets the M at the end of time. Remember the time I knew what happiness. You hear the tie I knew what, but I still understand him very well. Let the memory live again. Every street lamp seems to beat a fatalistic warning. So you know, it takes, I'm going to use the word bravery. It takes bravery as an artist to employ some of these emotive techniques that we use in everyday speech, right? If I say, <sighs> I've had such a long day, right? <sighs> He's actually baking a sigh like that. He's actually being willing to take 
the things he does in his speech and moving it into the music unabashedly. It takes a lot of bravery as an artist to not want to be just clean and, and cool and casual. He's going there. He always does. Bartos does. You can hear him bending that pitch, which just makes our heart go, <gasps> our breath. Mm. tell you something. I'm going to set a goal for myself, okay? Setting a goal. I'm going to sit and listen to him live one day. I'm going to be in the audience. I I have been so moved by these performances. He's so freaking cool. I would love to hear him live. Every time I see the camera pan around at everybody's reactions, I want that to be me. I want to be in the audience witnessing his beauty in person. And I mustn't give in When the dawn comes Tonight will be a memory too And a new day will begin See? Well, ah, he's just exhaling into that just like we would do when we were exhausted from a long day. He is willing to go there. I haven't heard the uh, that lower portion of his voice. Uh, for a, for a couple minutes here, and I've forgotten that he has access to that masculine uh, stuff at the bottom there. His range has got to span. You know, I'm I'm never someone who gets obsessed about things like oh he has exactly uh, five and a half octaves. I've never been somebody to obsess about that. But the more I hear him, it almost does make me curious. I bet you guys know. I bet you his loyal fans probably know his range, but. More important than having a massive range is what you do with it. You know, I remember <laughs> I, I took a session with a vocal clinician or a, or a performance clinician many, many, many years ago before, before I started coaching. And I remember him, instead of asking me to sing, he sat down at the piano and, and showed me. <gasps> and he sang just a humongous range. And I remember thinking, okay, and what? Because just having a massive range is meh until you have the artistry of a singer like him. I'm so used to memory, but both vowel choices he has pulled off. Look at the audience. She is in pain. He has put her in pain. It's a good thing. That's a good thing, just in case you're wondering. You hear the cry? So beautiful.
I just love him. He's so fucking good. But this, I think that was quite edited. I don't like it. It's stupid because his vibrato is so nice. Yeah, but, but they, you can hear. Yeah, they've, they've, they've zigzagged it. Yeah, it's gross. I, it's gross. It's gross. Too bad. Yeah. Another round of bullets hits my skin. Well, fire away. Cause today I won't let the shame sink in. We are bursting through the barricades and reaching for the sun. We are warriors, yeah, that's what we become. I won't let them break me down to dust. I know that there's a place for us. For we are glorious. When the sharpest words want to cut me down.